Well, Alex Marla, we don't normally cover the grand opening of a Denny's, but in this case, we're making an exception because it has a really positive backstory. Now, take a look. It is kind of busy right now because, of course, it's dinner time here at Denny's in Highland Park, and there are some hungry customers. And as you said it, of course, this used to be a Coco's restaurant. And you may remember back in December, we told you about the awful move pulled by Coco's management. Employees were let go with nearly no warning. They were told you're out of a job in a couple of days because the restaurant is shutting down. It was a shock to the employees and, of course, to the customers as well because they felt that, that those employees deserved so much better. Now, Lorena, Lorena worked at Coco's for 30 years. Lorena, take us back to that moment when you got the news? Well, we got the news a couple of days before Christmas. It was really devastating. Devastating is just like a small wor word, you know. Um, they were unfair to us, unfair to our customers, to all our guests. It was not okay. Not okay. And then, of course, we were here to cover the news. Yes. Other stations covered it as well. Yes. Because it was just wrong right around Christmas. Wrong. And you get the news from the new owners of uh, Denny's. And we've got Rashid right here. Hi. So you t describe what happened. Yes, we heard about uh, that they're closing down the Cocos and uh, they're uh, laying off all the employees. And we, since we were working on the location, we, we heard that Cocos is going to close down. So we tried to bring the Denny's here. And we approached the same day when they're closing to all the employees and offered them a job before they go to job last, you know. So we invite them to Denny's and uh, we put them in the training and we put them on our payroll for four months. So we don't want them to be to, uh, not having a job, you know, take care of your So for job. the last four months they've been employed? Yes, yes. yes. They are employees for the last four months and they're getting trained also. And now here we are today, we're opening a new... Denny's. So as a management, as a manager, as a district manager, you thought what what happened to them was wrong. Yeah, that was wrong because we, we, we I think it was not nice to let them go like that and not having a job. Uh, obviously, they have families and to support everybody. So that's what we thought we should take initiative and bring them in our. So Lena, Lorena, when you got the news first, the horrible news, and yeah. then the rescue comes in. Yes, so excited, so grateful for them. Uh, and we have been training for four months. We have been employed. They offered everybody a job. And everybody was so excited. Even like I reached out to my guests, everybody was so excited that we were able to stay wow. and get our customers back, our guests come back. And today, grand opening has been awesome. Yeah, awesome. it's been really, really, really busy. We got really good training from everywhere. Well, you know? I'm so glad that you know? you're here. And, and we I'm are so great. Wonderful and job. I would like I also say about the city and the people, they really supported us with our opening. And we got really good, uh, positive feedback from everybody. Wonderful. All right, well, I can give you some positive feedback. Sam, the photographer and I both had a sandwich here. He had a burger. I had a turkey. What was it? A, a turkey sandwich. Delicious. So <laughs> come on over to Denny's. They did the right thing. Denny's Wonderful. In Say that. Denny's in Highland Park. Highland Denny's Park. in Aww. Highland Park. Come That's and visit us. We would like to invite everyone here. I would like to have your support. And we are always here for 24-7. Right. And everybody enjoy a fresh, good meal. Yeah. yeah. Come on down. Come on down. Wonderful job. I'm so glad for you. Thank you.